So about a year ago, I did a review of the Falcon Pipe. It was my first one and it was new to me and I was pretty excited about it. And initially I thought it was a great pipe. Now I've had about 12 months to review it and examine it. I thought I'd share those findings with you now. Good morning. Today I am enjoying some uh, Esoterica Margate. Which I still have a fair little amount. Very good stuff. I've been uh, smoking a little of it at a time. Bought this a while back. Enjoy it quite a bit, along with all of the esoteric tobaccos. <clears throat> It's, it's been one year now since I've uh, bought my Falcon Pipe. This one actually was gifted to me. And, uh, you know, I didn't think I would like this kind of bent shape on the Falcon. But it's kind of grown on me. And I really like with that Meerschaum bow. Excellent little pipe. You know, it's been... 12 months since I bought these uh, Falcon pipes and I thought I would uh, just give a quick little evaluation of what I think about them. They, uh, they were quite the innovation in pipes, you know, up until the Falcon, although there was other uh, metal pipes out before the Falcon, but uh, they came about the same time. But the Falcon pipe uh, was quite the innovation, really, when you think about it. Prior, prior to the Falcon, there wasn't, there's, and even after the Falcon, there's not a whole lot of different types of pipes per se. Generally, Briar, Meerschaum, Corn Cob, and now the falcon or metal pipes and uh, <clears throat> it's an interesting little pipe it's an interesting idea uh, it's very um very modern in a sense you know every time i smoke these pipes i kind of think of uh being at my grandparents and the mentality of men you know of a certain age that grew up with uh, popular mechanics like my grandfather. He had a pile of popular mechanics and uh, gun magazines, you know, beside his uh, chair in the living room, you know, that he would always read and I would always read. I'd just go climb in his chair when he wasn't there and I'd just thumb through all the popular mechanic books. But there, there's this mentality uh, that comes out of the, uh, I would say, the 60s, you know, the 50s, the 60s, and on into the 70s of, uh, you know, science leading the way and 
and uh, innovations. I don't know if you remember or not, or if it was the same for you as it was as for me growing up. You know, there was a time all older people just really enjoyed modern, just modern stuff, you know. And we still do, of course, you know. But uh, modern back then was a little bit different, you know. You think of uh, like instant drinks like Tang or instant coffee, you know. A lot of older people I knew used to drink instant coffee. Um, <clears throat> which instant coffee, you know, is so-so. Uh, but a lot of older people drank instant coffee. They just boil the water, put a couple of teaspoons of that instant coffee in there. Tang, you know, people, instant almost orange juice, you know, there was that. And, and there are instant potatoes and instant this and instant that, you know. There was all of this stuff uh, that really was part of our... Uh, desire to be part of a future of the future you know if you will i think um tied in closely with popular mechanics and that and i think that uh, the engineer who designed the falcon pipe was kind of of the same mentality He's like we can make it lighter you know it'll be strong uh it will be drier than any pipe you know so did he achieve it <clears throat> yes and no I would say, uh, it, does it smoke drier than a briar is the question. And, uh, I would say, no, it does not smoke drier than a briar. Does it smoke cooler than a briar? Um, again, I would say, no, I don't think it smokes any cooler than a briar. Although you've got that cool little pipe there that's supposed to, you know, really do the deal and, and cool things down. Um, does it smoke as good as a briar? Mm, I would say, you know, it's yes and no. I would say yes and no. It does a fairly decent job. Does a really good job. Decent sounds almost a little derogatory. I would say it does a good job. <clears throat> it's a tough little pipe, but so are briars, you know. Um, it's a cheap pipe, and I hate to use the word cheap because that sounds, uh, again, derogatory, but, uh, it's, I don't mean it derogatory. It's an inexpensive pipe, you know, you can have that stem, uh, through GQ Tobaccos, uh, overseas for about, you know, this one may cost you 20 bucks. Uh, the straight one cost you about eighteen ninety five or so. You know, a bowl is going to cost you it's about the same, about 18, 20 bucks for a bowl. So, I mean, I bought a collection of bowls. I bought nine bowls for um, like $110, somewhere in that ballpark. And whatever you see on the prices at GQ, they're actually going to be lower once you check out because they charge a tax uh, in Europe that uh, we don't have to pay when they ship it to us uh, in the United States. Shipping cost, uh, I believe, was around 20-something dollars, so it wasn't too bad. But I, I ended up getting uh, two stems and, uh, and nine bowls. The stems were the Shalalas, uh, which I had gotten off eBay. Uh, I paid a pretty good price for those uh, because they were uh, no longer being made. So I paid like 30 something dollars for them. So I spent $70, let's say, maybe $75 on two stems, which is was a little high for, I thought, for the Falcons. But I thought, what the heck, I like the Shalalas. Always wanted one. And then the bows were like 110 which was really pretty cheap because that came out to a little over, I think, at the time. And I may be wrong about 110. It may be a little bit more. But uh, that came out to about uh, $17 per bowl, which is pretty cheap. So you got nine bowls, uh, two stems. Uh, so in essence, you have nine, in essence, you have nine pipes for less than $200. So, I mean, that 
That's really, you can't get any cheaper than that. How do they smoke? They smoke pretty good. They smoke pretty dry. Um, you know, are they extraordinarily that much better? I don't think they're extraordinarily better, but I think that they're good. I think they're, um, in some ways as good as any other pipe, briar pipe, I would say, corn cob pipe. Are the, the bows, you know, some people say, well, I think the bows are a little small. I don't really think they are. <clears throat> I've made them last for uh, up to two hours before smoking them, just with a nice, uh, you know, slow, steady puff on them, which is, would surprise me. It surprised me. Uh, I wasn't expecting that either. So, um, you know, you, ha you have to have these little rings in there, but that's really, uh, you, and you can either buy them, um, cause that catches all the moisture. So they have, they have all the moisture kind of gets pulled down and, and condenses down here in this bottom section. And, um, and that little, uh, what it is, is just a uh, pipe cleaner. And, um, it catches all of that. And once you're done smoking, you just throw it away. But, uh, and I, I'll show you here in a little side video, uh, how I, instead of buying them, cause you can buy a pack of like 25 or 50, I forget which, and they charge you a pretty penny for them. And you can just cut pipe cleaners and turn them into a circle. And it's the exact same thing and costs you a lot cheaper. So that's what I do. <clears throat> They are, they are good pipes. They are very inexpensive pipes. Um, I didn't like the fact how thin they were. It took me a while to get used to how thin they are. Uh, and they're very light. That wasn't hard to get used to. But they're very thin and they're very light. And it was almost like a... It's almost, I initially just thought of like holding a pen in your mouth. You know, have you ever been writing something? You stick a pen in your mouth while you're thinking. And uh, it kind of had that feeling for me. Uh, whereas a nice chunky pipe, you know, you feel like you got a hold of something, you know. Um, so there's that differences of feel. Those things are important to people. But... Uh, I've adjusted to this Falcon pipe, the lightness of it, the smallness of the, uh, of the uh, stem and that. And, and I keep talking and this thing keeps going out, but, uh, it is, they are worth a look at, um, uh, because for the price, for the functionality, for the practicality, a Falcon is a good choice. And I really recommend those Meerschaum bows. Um, one thing that surprised me about the Falcon is that um, I wasn't expecting that aluminum to pick up the flavor of tobacco. Uh, for some reason, I just didn't think it would stick. I, you know, there's no Teflon in there. Uh, so the flavor does stick, uh, surprisingly to me, to the pipe itself. So you got to make sure to clean and cleaning is always a great idea anyway. Uh, and I have cleaned, but uh, I have before not cleaned and picked up a pipe and thought I was just going to go ahead and smoke it. And uh, that flavor will kind of settle in on these metal pipes. Uh, and it's not very tasty. So, but the nice thing about them is you can clean them with alcohol. You can clean them with water. You can put them in the sink and run water through them and you scrub them out and they're very easy to clean. 
in that little bowl in the bottom, you know, you can take paper towel and swab out after you take out that little ring. So they're super easy to clean, but I was surprised that the, the flavor of the tobacco does kind of stay and linger in that pipe if you don't keep it clean. Right now at GQ Tobaccos, um, it's worth looking up if you want to get a pipe right now. They've reissued the Shalala pipes. I haven't looked at it in a week, maybe two weeks, so they may already be out of stock. If you've ever wanted a Shalala, now's the time to get one. Uh, they have them available over there. The price uh, is not cheap because they're very popular, but if you've ever wanted one now, you can get a brand new one from the Falcon uh, Company. And they've got these uh, colored bows, which are interesting looking. And for some people, uh, you might find them attractive. You might want one. But look at uh, GQ Tobacco right now. They have a, and I'll put a link down in the description below. You can go to and check them out. It's, uh, they've got the absolute best prices. You'll go and you'll order from GQ. And uh, like I said, initially the price will be higher. Uh, and you've got to put it in at the top. They give you an option of putting it into uh, dollars because they've got it in euros, um, or maybe pounds. I don't remember which, but, uh, anyway, you can go up and click at the top and it'll tell you how much it will be in dollars. Once you go to checkout, when you get towards the end, they subtract, uh, what I believe is called an LAT tax. And uh, after they subtract that, your price kind of goes down some. Shipping, as I remember, is around 20 something dollars. So it's a good idea if you're gonna order from them, uh, like in my case, I ordered nine bows. It probably would pay off best if you ordered several of something from them, you know, so that you can kind of incorporate that uh, shipping cost across everything you get, you know, get a couple stems, get several bowls, get a, you know, fair size order so it don't hurt you. Otherwise, if you purchase here in the U.S., they're going to charge you $35 per, uh, $35 per bowl, somewhere thereabouts, about $35 for the stem. So for just those two, you're like into it for like $70 or so. That's what I've seen. I haven't looked at all of it. So there may be some cheaper out there, but that's generally the price I've seen. Well, I'm going to uh, start smoking this thing because apparently I cannot uh, talk and chew gum at the same time or in this case, talk and smoke a pipe at the same time. You guys have a great week and uh, think about a falcon. Inexpensive. Part of our uh, American history. They were designed here in the U.S. They went ended up going over to uh, Great Britain and uh, they're manufactured over there now. And uh, there have been literally millions of them sold. I mean, millions upon millions of them sold. Uh, they are extremely popular. They have been extremely popular. Um, and they're popular because they're functional, they're inexpensive, they work pretty good. And uh, they are they are a pretty good pipe. And you may just fall in love with them. You may find that you like those better than uh, any other pipe. Um, my opinion is I like to have it in my mix of pipes. I've got briar pipes, I've got cob pipes, and now I have falcon pipes. And, uh, and they're kind of fun. They're different. So give them a try and see if you like them. Guys, have a great day.